We start this afternoon with uh, breaking news here as uh, South Bay basketball star Mikey Williams today pleaded guilty in court. Williams was arrested in April for shooting at a car outside his home in Hamul that had five people inside. Our Zara Barker joins us around the table for the latest on this. Hi, Zara. Yeah, hi, Maria and Andrew. A, a big development in this case that we've obviously been following for a couple of months now. Now, just hours ago, the 19 year old pleaded guilty to one count of making criminal threats. This all stems from his arrest in April after a shooting outside his home in Hamul at the end of March. The incident started as a verbal argument about people being asked to leave his home. Five people got into a car and were driving away when shots were fired at the vehicle. At the time, the car was hit, but no one was hurt. Now, Williams was arrested on suspicion of five counts of assault with a deadly weapon. Deputies searched the home and found Williams had one firearm in his possession at the time of his arrest in April. Now, you'll recall he was recruited by the University of Memphis, and this had put a stop to his young career that was really on a high mark. Now, today, part of what appeared to be a plea deal is Williams will need to complete anger and gun safety courses by August. If he does that, the charge will be reduced to a misdemeanor. Troy Williams and I both felt this was a defensible case, but juries can be unpredictable. And for that reason, our goal was to get Mikey back on campus, uh, back on the basketball court where he's been his entire life, and he's worked very hard to get to where he was and where he is going to go. Cases are individually looked at. There is no rubber stamp for any set type of case. Going leaking through the details of uh, Mr. Williams' age, cr lack of criminal record, um, all the sorts of the everything that went took place that night. Uh, both sides got together, worked really hard, and came up with a resolution that we both believe. Uh, creates justice for Mr. Williams, the community, keeps the community safe and has uh, the proper safeguards. Now, Williams had reportedly signed an endorsement deal with Puma back in 2021 and at the time was ranked by ESPN as the 34th best high school basketball prospect in the country. Now, we reached out to the University of Memphis just earlier today to see if he will be eligible to play, but have not yet heard back. Last we heard, though, Williams was taking courses online, though he was not allowed to use any of their facilities. But Andrew Maria, just the big question right now is, will he be able to go back to that scholarship and will be he be able to play in Memphis and also will he keep those endorsements absolutely yeah he's they've been waiting a long time to get a resolution to this and, and now hopefully they all move forward and he gets uh, the help he needs and, and then moves forward with his life too uh, Zara thank you very much mm -hmm.